China is tactically killing the whole Vietnam. For years, many observers and commentators have analyzed quite a bit about China's economic aggression against Vietnam. As one who keeps a close watch on all aspects of the Vietnam-China relationship, I would like to additionally comment that China is not only economically invading, but China is also gripping Vietnam in both directions from the east and the west, at the same time conducts deep penetration from the top through the central and down to the foot of our country. The eastern grips are military bases on Hainan Island, Paracel Islands, which includes Huang Sa and Druang Sa, and the Malaysian waters of Indonesia, with hundreds of warships, planes, radars, missiles, thousands of cruise ships, law enforcement vessels, and tens of thousands of armed fishing boats. Each day, the Chinese army are killing, evicting, and destroying our fishermen's boats from Backlong V to coastal Median, Namnagai, and Kangwa. They treat the sea as if it's their own. Now the Western grips do not have the sound weapons, but lacking the flow of the Mekong River is as deadly as weapons from the east. China has built dozens of large and small dams in Van Nam, including the Kang Hong Dam. They built some more dams in Laos and the extremely large Tone Lay Sop Dam in Cambodia, making the South Central Highlands, especially the Mekong Delta Bowen Matua Doklak, the three southwestern provinces facing drought and dry seasons. This caused large cracked soil, damaged rice, grains, and fruits. For industrial crops, such as coffee, rubber, and peppers, these crops have lost their big harvest seasons. The drought also caused fishes and shrimps to be scarce. Vietnam, as one of the country's largest rice industry, is now on the verge of dying out with heavy salinity. Breeding is also suffering due to lack of haze and dry grasses. Losing crops and not being able to breed are making tens of millions of farming families who are well off now becoming impoverished. These are caused by the ignorance of the Communist Party and their lack of future vision. They are focusing on widespread hydroelectricity. The Vietnamese Communist Party waited until the last minute to react to the drought and now they must beg China to open upstream dams now these forces are there to plant forests, build factories, roads, bridges, trains, mines, to extract bauxites and build ports of Moine. The Communist Party is now allowing Chinese ships of all types to come into Kamran berths. China also invaded Lansun, Kaobang, Timya, Qian, Tanrai, Lamdong and Kamao. The Chinese Communist Party brings technical workers and handcraft workers who have no immigration papers to stay in Vietnam. These people set up Chinese residential Chinese restaurants, shops, markets, they married Vietnamese women, and established Chinese families on the land of Vietnam. The Politburo knew about this, but decided to turn a blind eye and ignore these issues. Banking debts to Chinese banks are unspeakable. Gifts under the table to the Vietnamese Communist Party officers. The Chinese embassy, located on Hong Vuan Avenue, is the palace of the Chinese imperial Te King Quoc, who are on the list in participating banquets with Te King Quoc, Kung Huan, who is now known as Hung Ting Ong. China's expansion is holding on to the fate of life and death of Vietnam's economy and the people of Vietnam. China's import and export with poisonous vegetables and rotten meats to help put Vietnam into these ridiculous debts. Buy Vietnam rice at an extremely low cost. China has a tight hold on our main export goods by setting the price on these materials while Mr. Win Fu Trong still invites the Chinese ships into Cam Ran, shaking hands with his great friend. Our country is dying. People are hungry and living in poverty. The Vietnamese communist officers are being corrupted with wealth under the domination of the new communist colonialism of the Beijing expansion. While Vietnam is critically at risk, widespread poverty due to the dependence of China is leading the Vietnamese people to their graves and facing a true death. There are 200 members of the Central Committee, 
19 members of the Politburo and 500 members of the National Assembly who are fighting and dividing for seats at the table for China's wealth distributions. Knowing this without alarming the people and citizens of Vietnam is a great sin. Where did these crimes come from? Who caused these crimes? I will let the nationalists, the bloggers, freelance journalists and patriotic lawyers to comment about this. We are fighting for liberation of our people. Should we stand by watching our country, watching the Vietnamese people who are being marched into death in the hands of the northerners and the corrupted communist henchmen? Millions of fishermen are helplessly suffering. Should we allow the Chinese Vietnamese communist governments to continue wearing the revolution mask to deceive our people? Dân biết điều gì dân cần để tự do muôn 